All right, my friends. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Titan Hunter made by Chris Graffin from the YouTube channel Cannibal Carnage. You guys don't go away. This thing is awesome. Sorry, guys. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of praising about this guy. It has quickly become my go-to and my favorite uh, slingshot that I own. Um, but... Uh, it's going to be hard not to sound biased, but I want to assure you that I've purchased this with my own money. I'm in no way sponsored by Chris or Catapult Carnage or any of his affiliates, <laughs> if there are any. Um, this is uh, pure straight from the heart, and uh, this is probably as close to it as a perfect slingshot for me as I've ever used before. So, all right, my friends, when you order a slingshot from Chris, what you get is the frame, the frame only. No lanyard, no bands. You get the frame only, and you get... A bag full of replacement nuts and bolts and an allen key to be able to change your band sets but that's it you'll have to make or buy your own bands to put on here which to be honest is a pretty good thing uh, when they send you band sets with uh, whistling shots it may not be the taper you like the the weight you like or many other things so to be honest having just a frame coming here and being able to dress it up the way you you uh, you like it I think is actually a plus so all right let's get into specs sorry guys this frame is made out of 12 millimeter aluminum that has been polished to a near mirror finish by Chris look at that so the overall length of this frame from a fork tip to the bottom of the handle with the wrap on it is 130 millimeters long the fork width at the exterior is uh, 90 millimeters the fork gap on the inside is 40 millimeters yeah. 25 millimeter um, fork tip here will accept a heavy or light band to accommodate for all shooting styles to attach the bands to the fork tips you've got two allen bolts with a nice strong washer on a nice polished brass clip it really holds on to those bands super tight that'll never let go I, I currently have this thing uh, set up with gen 3 precise 0.65 with a taper of 24 to 15 and I'm using the uh, GZK pit locating pouch uh, set up for eight millimeter of steel it's a bit of a heavy band for eight mils but uh, I get no hand slap from it it shoots straight and and awesome so uh, there really is a uh, no issue at all to uh, dial back the uh, dial back the uh, the weight of these bands at all shoots fantastic Sorry, right, folks let's talk about the ergos of this uh, of this link shot here um, the design and shape of this thing makes it very comfortable to shoot in a thumb brace like how I shoot it. Very comfortable like this. Locks into the hand really well. The power cord wrap adds a little bit of warmth to it and grip. So on those really warm days when you're sweating, uh, it's not going to be slipping around on you. You're going to have a good grip on it. And on those really cold days, you're not going to feel the cold steel in your hand and have it feel uncomfortable. It's just um, all around, all around great design for air goes. Sorry guys, for those of you who like to go out on a mooch, you know, collecting tree forks, having some fun shots, the slim profile of this guy makes this thing really good to carry for an EDC. Um, it'll slide in and out of your pocket, super easy, you won't even know it's there. And it's coming in at a whole uh, 107 grams. So it's nice and light, and all the weight that's in this bad boy with those little blast brass clips are right up on the front to help with the recoil, which is where you want it. All right, guys, so, here we have a Pepsi mini can. We're gonna be shooting at that guy at the 35 feet, which is slightly over 10 meters. And uh, nothing much more to say, let's just get it. guys I've been shooting this guy for a while now uh, but I got to show you something real quick here see that glare coming off that polished edge there that's just about the only thing I can complain about see how that kind of impedes the target you can't really see anything working your way down those bands with that shine coming off there kind of blinds you all right folks you see that top flipper right there it's a 40 mil flipper we're gonna see if we can hit that guy from over here Doing all right here. All 
All right, guys, so that's the 40 mil flipper. Now, if you look a little bit higher up on that box, I got another catch box on top of there with a 30 mil flipper in it. Let's get that one. Right there. Yeah. All right, so we got that one. Let's try something else. Sorry guys, that 30 mil flipper came pretty easy. So now we're gonna try shooting a lighter, but I'm gonna set up my second camera so we can get a better uh, better view of that thing blowing up. Lighter's hanging. Camera's in position. Let's see if we can get it. First shot, we murdered it. Let's try something smaller. Let's go for a nail, see if we can hit one of those. All right guys, so there's the camera. You see it hanging there, there's a nail. Let's see if we can get that guy. Sorry guys, you're gonna be able to see that little nail floating around here somewhere. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try and get it. Uh, it is windy, it's swinging back and forth a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. So it's probably gonna take a few shots to get it, but let's see if we can do it. Was that a hit? I think we got it. Sorry guys, now we have a card uh, put up in a kind of a crappy clamp, but we're gonna see if we can get it. Sorry guys, you see right up here? This is gonna be my third attempt at a card cut. It's gonna take a few shots, but if I don't get it in 10, uh, we'll just cut it from the video. See if we can get it. Oh, I think we got it. All right, so we did have a hit but it was just right at the very bottom of it, just off the tip of the corner. So, uh, not good enough. Let's try it again. There, yeah. Oh, hit it again. Well, guys, I gave it a good honest try. I hit it, I hit it three times, uh, but uh, all three times were uh, just not enough to get right through it, and I was hitting just the bottom of it, so I was hitting low for some reason. I uh, tried correcting it, and every time I'd just be skinning down the inside of the, the card, just couldn't get it. But either way, uh, still some good shots. Sorry, guys. All things considered, I have to say, uh, this is by far the best damn slingshot I've ever held in my hand. Um, it checks all the boxes for me. Uh, it's easy to carry, it's comfortable to hold, it doesn't slip, it's accurate, shoots well, take a wide range of bands. Uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. Uh, there's so many things uh, I could say about this thing. Uh, the only issue that I have is the uh, actual the mirror polish on here. While I'm aiming things up, the sun, I don't know if you saw that in a little clip there, if it really showed up or not, but the sun shines off that thing and hits you right in the eyeball and it actually uh it actually blocks the um it blocks the target you can't even see the target anymore uh so i may try to find something that i can do to uh, just cover that up um make something matte black maybe a little bit of paint or something just to cover it up so it doesn't uh reflect and destroy my destroy my field field of vision but besides that which is a very small problem this thing is an absolute monster um i can't say enough about it anyway folks Hope you liked this video, and if you're interested in picking up one of these, just shoot uh, Chris a message on Facebook or on uh, on Instagram, and uh, he'll he'll, uh, he'll work one out for you. He's a busy guy; it may take a couple of days to get back to you, but he will, and he'll get it done quick and get it shipped out to you. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You guys be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
on this end screen, I've attached a couple of reviews that I think you might like and uh, a cool playlist of uh, how-tos. So thanks a lot for watching. See you again soon. Be good to each other.